Totally my jam. Where's my stream? I'm about to click. Where's the stream? Come on. There it is. All right, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the B and stream. It is my stream today on the 17th of October, 2022. I hope you have had a wonderful two weeks. It's been two weeks since the last stream, and not just one week. Um, if uh, if you all uh, saw on. Uh, Pleroma, I'll get on that in a moment, or my Twitter, I may have contracted laryngitis, I don't know, I didn't see a doctor over it, but it was a uh, very, um, uh, spooky, I guess, the very spooky thing is getting ill, but it was just like, it was just like, uh, pretty much, a, I think Tuesday rolled around, I started getting the sore throat the day after the stream, and then my voice gradually got dimmer and dimmer, and then by Saturday and Sunday, it was like, and it was just like, you would not hear anything. And it was just cough city all the time. Um, the Monday, it was time to come back. Uh, but I think pretty much by Saturday, as in two days ago, Saturday, I finally had like my falsetto range. I don't often do falsetto too much on stream. <coughs> Excuse me if I cough, I gotta do it off. I gotta tase on day it up as well. And phase away from the mic, but um, yeah, I'm not like 100% there, but I'm definitely like, dude, I feel fine enough to do a stream. The, the voice is the last thing to come back as well, because um, it used to be like, just impossible to get a sentence out without like, you know, having a sniffle, having a like cough. It's just, it's not fun. It's also great playing a, um, uh, a zombie game, which, how about, let's get into that. Um, so... Here we go, a zombie game. It's great playing a zombie game and um, contracting a virus. I guess, is laryngitis a virus or is it a bacteria thing? I don't know. It's fun contracting some kind of illness um, when it's a game all about a T virus. Uh, so I, I can guarantee it's not. <coughs> it's not a T virus, it's just uh, laryngitis, maybe. But uh, we'll get there. The worst feeling is like, I, it's a tickle cough now. It's not like an actual, um, like serious big thing. I love the, the name in the eye. It's so good. Um, it's not like a crazy serious like cough now, but it's just like, you get the sensation because you've been doing it for so many days. Um, and you do kind of just want to like not have that sensation. So, um, so yeah, uh. It was two weeks ago, I may have remembered what I did by glancing back at uh, my last stream. That's the fun part about doing a stream. At least you can remember what you've done. Um, so, uh, but yeah, in the last stream, pretty much that's the start of the game. I remember on the second floor of the mansion, um, if you see that weird, like, in the bottom right, the L-shaped room, that's where we found person. I forgot their name. I'm, listen, I can know- I know where they're dying. I just forgot who they're called. Um, and they asked us to go to blinking room over there. Um, I'm under the impression I've killed everyone. So, I don't think it's gonna be too much pressure to get over there. But it might be a little bit of pressure. We'll see. Um, so yeah. Uh, I- I want to know a couple of things as well. Um, Actually, no, I think it's just the one thing. Uh, but I want to know uh, one thing. Um, I think a couple of streams ago, I mentioned I had set up my own Mastodon instance at m.bndao.com. You can follow me there, uh, where you will see basically the same stuff that gets cross-posted to Twitter. But if you want to follow me on Mastodon, you can. Scratch that. You're not allowed to say the word Mastodon if you're not using Mastodon. I was using Pleroma the whole time. I knew I was using Pleroma, I didn't realize that it's a big difference from Mastodon, as in they're both implementations, or actually they're both completely separate programs, but just so I happen to communicate over ActivityPub. So I believe, there we go. I may have demoed this earlier, so I kind of know where the serum was. <coughs> from that point on, I don't know exactly, but... We're gonna see if there's anything good in here. Um, 
I've got the mixed herbs. The mixed herbs might be useful. I've got the lighter, and I don't know what that's used for. The shield key, I know I need. I need the gun in my hand. Um, the clip doesn't seem too useful when I don't have the pistol, but I know I'm going to be picking up pistol ammo. So I don't particularly have a great use of things. There's the crest. Nah. I'm just going to wing it. I know I can heal here, but given... Oh, sorry, save here, but I think... Um, uh, oh, sup, sup, radius when you're holding a comically oversized shotgun. Or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, granted, shotguns can be pretty massive. I think it's just because Jill's a bit of a lanky character. Um, like, she doesn't, she doesn't get any, like, blowback from using that shotgun. It's just like, you know, stand in place, kaboom, you know. Uh, but yeah, so, <laughs> I would like to retroactively, uh, Disavow any time I use the word Mastodon, because I've been, uh, using Pleroma the whole time. Um, it shouldn't, it doesn't change anything. The instance is still at the same address, it's just, it's, it's been Pleroma, it's not been Mastodon. So. Because I recently, um, cracked down on a, uh, a, a server called Mastodon.technology. Uh, which is, it's not officially, I didn't even realize Mastodon is a trademark name, and not the, the, metal band but the um yeah let's let's save again because <coughs> that walk would get annoying because i know i know what i'm in for i i know what resident evil can be and i 100 percent know what i'm expecting around uh once i deliver the the medicine that i just picked up i realize a few people are clicking on the um the vod because it's a blind stream. And yeah, it is blind. I just have good gut feelings. <laughs> so let's go up the stairs. Oh boy. Two sets of stairs. That's how you know it's that's good. And then yeah, I take a week off. I've like, you know, I'm gonna rest the voice. And suddenly, like, everything happens in the two weeks that you're off. Like I don't know what on earth is going on. I got like a range of topics that I want to kind of get into. There's a bit of healing here. So. Oh. Yo, I got your medicine. Richard is dead. Oh no. I shouldn't have taken two weeks to get his medicine. He kind of was a goner, to be honest. He, he kind of was. Like, I mean, you know, he's the first to... We literally have four characters in our horror game. Ah, oh, two. Oh, is that acid? I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Speedrun strat. <laughs> That's a cheeky spot as well. That he's around the corner like that. Okay. Uh, is there a little thing on the corner there? Here we go. Oh, more ink. Yeah, see, like, I don't feel bad for using it then if it's like I've got 10 or I've got 9 ink in my inventory and I've used 9 so far. Like, I keep getting more. I keep getting more, so. Uh, and I saw that that wasn't a pre-rendered wall and I was like, hmm, can you, can you move that? So, okay. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, that's cool. I got the lighter. Yeah, I can't use it. Do I have three ammo for the... Maybe I should reload the shotgun. Can I... Can I not use the lighter to light up the room? It's got lighter in the name. It's got light in the name. You're telling me... It's not... It's not bright enough. <sighs> like... There's a candle. Maybe I light up the candle. Oh! Here we go. Ah! Suddenly it lights up this, like, other room. Sure. I'll accept it. Oh, is that, um... Acid ammo. Interesting that that's chilling over there. 
now I'm kind of angry because it's like, mm, if I didn't hold the lighter in my inventory, am I missing out on that? Hmm. <coughs> We're getting there. <laughs> Ten minutes into the stream, all right, coughing my lungs out. This will be good. Nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I, I, I did some singing tests as well, because I was like, again, the falsetto range is gone. My only, like, uh, I think my range right now is like, I've got like a bottom D. Like, that's my bottom note. And then you go uh, go up like another octave, you go D, D, D. Like, sure, okay. Then you could do a falsetto D on top of that. D. That's, that's, that's your falsetto D. That's really annoying to people who aren't expecting me to just like sing on stream. Um, I could do a couple of notes higher than that, but it doesn't sound great. Um, at three octaves, I'm happy, but it's, I do want to make it like not sound like because I can't sing very well. So, uh, okay, so that key's useless. Okay, what lies beyond the door? Yes, I did remember what the what the guy said. By the way, so I know that I'm expecting something. <clears throat> Oh my gosh! Oh, I wasn't expecting him to just come at me like that! Okay. Oh, now I've got to figure out how to aim at him with a fixed angle. Oh my god! Okay. You, can, just, you can't- okay, you can't get me. I would like that. Oh, good thing the key broke, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to hold that. Is there ammo back here? It's the hole where that big snake came out of. Yes. He's chilling. He's just chilling right there. Oh boy. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get out of there. Oh, oh, hi, hi, hi. Uh, see ya, see ya. Sorry, man. See ya. I only need the crest, right? There's nothing else in this room that I particularly want to get. I don't think this guy's gonna be too happy if it- Oh wait, hold on, let's back around this way. Oh, oh, he bit me in the knee. There's nothing else I'm like, cheaping out on. Like, it seems like the clear thing to get. I'm just curious if there's like something else I should be grabbing. Oh. Oh. Oh, just pop some more ammo in. Oh, you okay then? Shotgun shells. Oh, where are the shotgun shells? I guess the snake's gone. Ah, oh, poison. Good thing I've got the mixed herbs. The mixed herbs doesn't heal poison, does it? Darn. Wait. Oh, the, the, they're there. It's very hard looking. Okay, um... Alright, we gotta address the poison eventually. Or I just die. One of the two. But now I've got the crest. I've got two crests. And no key. Oh. Yeah. Am I poisoned? Y yeah. Give me the serum. G give me the serum. <laughs> oh. Okay there, Jill. Oh. Hi. Wait, I was holding onto the serum the whole time. Why didn't I just take it? There you go. League of Legends. Do I remember what room this one is in? Barry. Barry? Barry. <laughs> oh, we got a typewriter. Might as well. Uh, yeah, I guess. Let me use that. Let Richard die so you can use the serum manually and skip the cutting with Barry as an actual speedrun strat. Oh, nice! Also, does that imply that you could just let Richard live? Like, you could just go up, like, if you're fast enough, he's alive, or... 
Oh, this is where I got the stuff before. Um, so now I've got the moon crest, as well as the other crest. Do I just hold on to both crests? Because that, that kind of makes me feel like I need to put both crests in the spot. But there looked like there were four things I needed to get. And I'm holding on to the serum still. Maybe I just don't need the serum. Just pop the serum away. There we go. Oh, yeah, that guy's almost there. So now, I guess, like, it makes sense to me. Richard dies literally seconds after you give him the serum shot, but you get a radio from him to view even more cutscenes. Okay. <coughs> Alright. Um, so to me, I kind of go, okay, so now they've given me this crest. I don't have any other keys. Was there any other, like, rooms that I've not gone into? I know there's the alleyway at the back there, and the, on the on the right side. That's what I want to go into. I apologize for the the crackly audio. I'm not too sure what's up with that. I wanted to like not mention it, but I know that's going to irritate me through the whole stream, and I'm really not too sure why. Do you have four crests. I have two crests. Um, so I guess I'm holding on to the moon crest and the sun crest, which seem like, you know, peas and parcels, but they definitely look like there were four spots over there. So, um, so I would have gotten the, the moon crest from, um, the piano room, and then I played the piano, so that's cool, but... I guess there's the room at the far end of uh back here. <coughs> like I guess if the if the crest both are both crests behind puzzles. Are they both crests that I need? Because I, I wanted to go um like I, I know it's like oh it's a blind run, but it's like I know that on that right on the right half there, the walkway up to the top to that square room at the back there, um, that's where you put the crest in. I went there earlier and then I just killed myself because I wanted to get back quicker. Um, but it said there were four crests. And I'm not too sure if I need all four now, like going up to it. So I need to keep looking around for more crests. Um, there does look like a couple of rooms. Like I can see two rooms, three rooms here. We'll need all four eventually. But do I need all four right now? Or Because my brain was about to be like, I'm just going to go over and put the two crests in and see if anything happens. But it doesn't scream out to me like anything does happen if you put in two. <clears throat> okay, so that room is just locked. That's that's one of my potential rooms out of the way. And I have no idea where you even get in there from, but... It's got a three keys, armor, sword, and helmet. I probably haven't done helmet... Oh... Gosh, okay. <laughs> what was the what was the one I was holding just then? I was holding the shield key, and that got discarded. I know I've discarded one more. I can't recall off the top of my head if I've even found a third key. <coughs> so, just to, I guess, remind, uh, after getting um, one of the crests... Actually, it wasn't even a crest, was it? It was uh, just this. It was an emblem, that wasn't even a crest, sorry, my bad, that was, that's not what's in the piano room. Uh, but that revealed this key, which is gone now. I've used that key up. Joe has two keys and a lockpick, so I'm done. Okay, yeah, I was thinking. But there are some rooms that she can't open. So if I'm actually done, does that mean I go over to where the... Um... Actually, I think that room... I was gonna go to the room on the bottom right, but that is locked. So... Do I just pop the emblems in? 
There's two rooms on the upper level there on the left. I think one required a key and one just says it's locked. I don't think anything has changed about that. And it doesn't look like there's any other rooms on the upper right, like on the on the second floor on the right side. Um, so now I've just got to figure out where the other two crests are, but... Um... I can tell you one room that I'm uh, confused about was the room with the pictures and the crows and you press a button at the far end and I ran out of there and I don't remember where the room was but I also know I didn't grab anything out of there and that would be prime position for a key to suddenly appear. So how about let's make our way to um, through some of the rooms. So I went in there because that's that was where he was. Um, the right side was just a balcony, as in the back out room. So, okay. Now this room was the one where you put the two statues over the holes, I think, and that's actually where the moon uh, one was. It was over here at the far end. So that one's fine. But now I've got to figure out where the other ones were. Gosh, I, got, I keep referring to the map because I'm, I'm like, uh, where am I going? Okay. So the room on... Yeah, so this is the room that I would have entered in the first time. And this is like a little side room. Which has a one way that goes into the next room anyways. But it's worth looking around in here again. Nothing uncommon. There's nothing uncommon in here. And it's well arranged, you know? Nothing over here screams out to me like I need it right now. Or rather that I can interact with it right now. But apart from having another key, I don't really know what would even encourage me to look into any of these other rooms. Oh, there's a missing room over here, but... So we got this little tiny room over here. The moose room, of course. I forgot the moose room. This is an ominous. I don't remember at all what I even got from this room. Bed. Um, lighter? I got the lighter from that room. Okay. Because and then I guess to double up the question, I only got I, the only time I've used the lighter was for that. Um, bit. Uh, Mikami wanted genuine Caucasians as actors, even though his team barely spoke Japanese. Uh, so the entire shooting package. Oh, like his entire team barely spoke English, so they were just like, you must do this. And then it was like, um, I remember there was only goodies in that safe. Is that something on the ground I can actually use? It definitely does seem that like, you know, whoever, whoever's really driving the shots on the directing really wanted, uh, that horror movie feel, that B movie feel. But how to actually create that in English? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there's a bit of a hurdle on that one. Is the is the voice acting done by, um, I guess American, um, native speakers, or is it like second language that kind of stuff? I still don't know what's up with the white like wall there. Um, I will not take the herb for the moment. I know that there's a herb here, but I, I know two other rooms with herbs. A paper is on the wall, you say? Hey, hang on. <coughs> Heck yeah! Oh, 
I was expecting a crest. It's a map of second floor. Will you take it? Yeah, okay, sure. So now I can see all the rooms I haven't been into. Okay, there's a lot of rooms on the left side. I don't know what the, um, the little green dot is. You see that on the left side. Native speakers, which I assume was very lowly. Ah, true, true. I wonder if they paid them more than... Okay, so I've never gotten the helmet key. That's that's your, your fact. I must have gotten the armor key and the shield key. Um, I wonder if they were paid more than 4,000 US dollars. That's, uh, that was one of my topics. Um, as, uh, the Bayonetta voice actress has come out on Twitter and said... Uh, Hello everybody, I'm Bayonetta, voice actress, and I've, uh, I'm upset because Nintendo wanted- Oh, my internet's dying. Sick, zero kilobits. Zero kilobits. 18,000 kilobits. I dropped 600 frames on the network. You- you all watching- watching, uh, the VOD. Uh, for reference, if- if there's any weird stream hiccups or whatever, the VOD is all self-recorded, so no network hiccups come up in that, but that was kind of odd. Um, not, not like a fence to her, but it's just like, I think the big, one big thing that screams out to me is that she, um... I think it's weird that the... Hold on, wait. Like, you gotta pull the clips out, and then you gotta merge the clips together. And then you gotta go back into the, the box. Um, companies don't suddenly force recognizable voice. Yeah, yeah, there's certainly more to that. I think, like, the big thing for me is that um, Nintendo, or not even Nintendo, I think the, the director of the game said um, it was just a, um, <clears throat> like, scheduling conflicts. Or something like that. It was, like, just, like, existing commitments. And then she, she, the voice actress, who I'm, I'm sorry if I've, I've blanked out on the name, says something very different. Someone, at the very least, is lying. Two people could be lying. But, uh, like, someone is certainly not letting on as much as, uh, you know, they really are, are saying. And uh, that's, <coughs> that's definitely something we got to look out for is uh why is it that i mean it, i think it makes sense to nintendo to or, or someone official on the team close this to release because i think this was like a couple of weeks ago to say this is the reason why the bayonet voice actress isn't there some people are going to know but we you know we're happy of the performance jennifer hale's given and we um we hope you all still appreciate that like they've jumped the gun they've gotten ahead of people getting too angry um so, okay, so if I go left, that's where I need to put the, um, oh my gosh, navigation on the map, hold on. Uh, oh wait, sorry, no, so not, not left here. Japanese culture is very polite, dude. This is another helmet key door, okay. And then this leads into, this is the, the picture room with the crows. I'm going to be wasting shotgun ammo if I go like two ham on these crows. Or the crows can just not be- no, they're still here. This is one room that like... <coughs> screens out to me. There's a switch under each of these panels. But only the switch at the end seems to activate all the crows. The moment I leave the room, the room seems to reset, so... Yeah, the, mo the first picture is the key. Uh, I'm just gonna hope that when you say it's the key, it's literally the key. So I press that and then I bolt it, because that's what I did last time. Oh, freaking birds. Freaking birds. Oh, they got me in a... Oh. Picture is entitled from cradle to grave. That didn't really give it away. to the puzzle. Oh, I wanted it to be literally the key. 
Tired middle-aged man. That's not the key. Newborn baby. Still not the key. Yeah, I mean, the fact that it jumps into a different, like, angle gives it, but from cradle to grave. From cradle to grave. Like, unless there was a cradle somewhere in another room. And I just missed the cradle. But. <laughs> this is looking real ghoulish from some angles, I'll tell you that. Um. Hmm. I guess I can. I was gonna say, I'll go back for the for the herd. From like four rooms ago. It's a pretty long walk, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. From cradle to grave. Unless. Oh! Oh, I think I get it. From cradle to grave. As in. As in. This is a picture of a tired middle aged man. And then there's a switch. So let's say no. This is a picture of a newborn. Okay. A middle aged man, newborn. I think I got it. Picture of a young man. So that's in between. Picture of an infant. So that's before that. Picture of a lively boy. So I guess that would be third so far. A bold looking old man. This will be the last one. And then this. That's the end of life. So I assume I put push the end of life last. That's what's triggered everything. And I go for the infant first. <coughs> Interesting, an actual puzzle there. I, I'm not expecting like, okay, so we got that one. Now we're going for the infant. Now this is one that actually tra like requires a translation to go for, okay. So we got the infant. Then we need the boy, the lively boy. Then we need the young adult, the young man. Then we need the middle-aged man. Tired middle-aged man. And then the old man, which is this last one here. It's kind of weird looking painting to be honest. All right, and then if I push the end of life. Hey! That's a cheeky puzzle. That's a cheeky puzzle. Take the star crest, sure. Could be a song reference. Uh, so the birds only come out as punishment, which feels right. Because <coughs> I was thinking like, yeah, the room's there. But, like, what actually, like, you know, was encouraging me to stay in the room with the birds attacking? Not really anything. Okay, so I've got that. But now we enter the last... The, where's the last one? Because I was definitely thinking, well, that bird room seemed right for having one of the crests. But where's the fourth one? So we got sun and moon. This is a star. Uh, forgot what the last one would even be. My brain's probably thinking it's on the other side, on the, the north left side. North left. There was nothing in this bathroom, and uh, because of the two characters thing, I'm not too sure if uh, I'm even gonna notice anything in this room or whether it's uh. Whether it's just a, you know, it's a toilet room for the sake of a toilet room. Listen, every horror game's got to have a toilet room. Clock Tower's got it. Clock Tower's every horror game. So, uh, but yeah, I, I there's more to the voice actress story than simply voice actress is in the clear big company is evil and in the wrong. I think the big thing is 
uh, I guess that we can take home is are voice actresses and voice actors worth four thousand US dollars? And I'd say the answer is it kind of depends on how. Can I, can I sneak up past this dog? Because I know that there's... Oh, am I not equipping the shotgun? Oh, he jumped! Oh, cool. Okay. Oh no, I gotta reload. Look what you made me do. I mean, there's four of these. I was thinking it's probably worth it. Just to grab all of these, you know. But granted, I am at the end of my shotgun kind of rain. Like, five shots? That's not a comfy amount. Right, let's take one of these. What's her boiler? Can I can I light the boiler? <laughs> okay. So where is salvation? Where is the 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 key to success? Uh, I am not going in that room on my left. <coughs> the room with the two dogs. Nah, -uh, man. Nah, -uh. we walk the other way. <laughs> We're going in the room with the two dogs. I'm very interested in the fact that, like, the enemies don't respawn. It seems to, like, remember, like, there's only so many enemies. Which is a lot more chill, a lot more tame than I was expecting. Um, although, granted, the moment I go into somewhere new, suddenly, you know, there's way more things trying to kill me, I guess. Oh, I should, I should go to the box and put the... Herbs in the box, I'm not carrying so many herbs, and maybe pick up a pistol, so that I'm not carrying nothing when the shotgun fails me. Do I just commit to picking up, uh, shells? Like, just, like, put away the shotgun, we're getting shells today. Um, let's see, let's put away the crest, because I can decide to bring the crest with me later. <coughs> and, uh, whoops. That's, that's what a pistol looks like. There we go. And let's do a save, because I picked up a bunch of stuff, shot a couple of things. Save early, save often. That's the term. Fun fact, Jill actress loathed, loathed the job to the point that she burned the bridge and was given a fake name in the credit. I think it's, I always feel it's kind of weird. Like, I mean, I guess a lot of horror movie people do have fake names. Um, like they'll, they'll use a fake name just like as a joke or something like that. Um, I always find it's like weird though when, you know, like, may maybe for me, I'm under this weird impression where it's like, oh, you know, I'd love to be credited with a lot of stuff, but I can also understand, like, people only wanting to take select parts of their, um, you know, their acting career. And especially when you're younger, it's like, oh, man, every single role, like, gets counted, even when you don't want it to. It's confirmed by Mikami. She's, he said he regret hiring her. Is it the same actress who was in the live action um, video at the beginning as well? Or was it like uh, one person does the voice, one person does the does the, the live action, the likeness? Because it, it <coughs> I mean, at the, at the very least, the, li the voice actress does not really feel like she's uh, putting in anything, really. 
Oh, hi there, zombie. Oh yeah, I forgot there are a few zombies on this upper floor. Maybe I'll just go back. Why can I push this? Kind of looks like there's something in the hand. You see what I mean? Is this statue holding on to something? Why is it pushable? There's gotta be some meaning to that. The voice and the actors are different people. Oh. Oh, like, I, you cannot aim at this guy from, like, that angle. He's getting there. He's getting there. There he is. But yeah, why can I push the statue? Check that out. I figured it out. Top. Sick. Sick. Please be the last crest. Please be the last crest. Just there. That'd be cool. That'd be cool if I figured that one out on my own. <coughs> uh, da 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 da. Because that's, that's one thing that like I'm really enjoying about the game so far is that I was daunted by 90s level design. And 90s just like, oh, you know, it kills you because you didn't know what was going on. And it's like, yeah, there was a boss, but like, you could tell that there was a boss really coming up. I guess unless you didn't know that there were going to be bosses full stop. But like the guy mentioned there was going to be a snake. My fault. I spent two weeks to, to you know, manifest that, that uh, discovery. Okay, what's, uh, what do you drop? Please be the, please be the thing. Please be the thing. Ah, blue jewel. Oh my god, where do I put a blue jewel? Ugh, I just wanted the key and the crest and get it over and done with. <coughs> I've got a hunch. I've got a hunch off the top of my head. I do remember. I do recall there was a room which had um a snake. Or a statue or something. I do recall a room with a snake statue or something. And it was like, oh, it looks like a shiny gem fits in here. But where was that room? This looks fancy, but that's not it. I, I'll take more pistol ammo while I'm at it. Various things, I oh, guess. I love how I'm trying to interact with the light switch just to see if the light switch does something. Uh, oh. Where's the... Where's the thing? Hmm. But, yeah, like, I, I'm at least kind of going like, hey, you know, I've got a, I've got a lead right now with the gem. I guess the key thing is I haven't seen the object that I put the, the red jewel in yet. As, as in on the stream right now. So I know it's not in any of the rooms that I've been in today. That does unfortunately leave a lot of like lingering rooms. Uh, do I take one of these? Sure. Because my health's not perfect. So if I need to take it, then sure. This room is locked. This is just saying I don't even have the key. Um. You think it's, is that like a weird, like, yeah, there's like a one frame, like, latency between the mirror and the real world. Come on, RTX. You're not doing your job. Uh, so do I get to use that as a wonderful segue into, man, two out of two on the segues. Um, but, uh, I guess segue number two is, uh, there's a lot of technology that got released, not necessarily, um, big changes and things that are happening or like announcements, but releases, we're near it, we're getting there. Um, so, <coughs> uh, consider the sound of the director's cut, those clown farts in the basement background music. Did they used to be clown farts?
can't believe they put clown parts in my zombie game. Who would do that? Woman drawing water. She ain't drawing much anymore. Um, but yeah, so techie news, uh, the 4090 came out, the RTX 4090. Uh, I will preface this, uh, by saying, uh, I really hope if you ever <laughs> bought the 4090, you have a good use for it. Because for some odd reason, various models are selling out at Australian retailers. The graphics card costs 2,959 Australian dollars. Starting at that price, some of them start getting up to 3,700. 3,700 is a lot of dollars. <coughs> a lot of people meme that you could buy a whole computer for 3,700. But like, I think we me we memed on it when the 3090 came out and it was two and a half thousand. Uh, this is a lot of money. This is a lot of money. Um, now granted, I am very pleased that when the card came out and all the reviewers benchmarked it, they saw the price to performance is actually pretty in line. And that's actually saying something really good given that it's um, like a super, <laughs> a super flagship. Um, super flagship, that's not even the term. It's a Halo product. It, it, it exists purely to, I don't know about those plants here. They're not even like interactable plants as well. Um, but like this card exists purely to be a chart topper, purely to be like, this is the best. As in, if you need the best, well, you're going to pay anything to do that. Um, but surprisingly, you're not breaking the bank, if that makes sense. Like you're getting a card that is twice as powerful as existing cards and costs twice as much, but that's, there's value in having more horsepower in one card, I guess. Um, I don't recall what was like over in this part. I don't think there was anything over here. This is where the room with the crest was, but I switched the crest. And I don't think there's anything else really in this room, is there? It just kind of turns around and it makes me uh, feel like there is something. There's that, that green square. It's in the same spot on both the floors. I don't know what that's about. Ah. Um, so I guess we'll continue looking. We'll continue trying to figure out which room had the, the bit that looks like it wanted the jewel. Um... But yeah, on, on practical terms, I think people are buying into the uh, the RTX 4090 so much. Like, like, yeah, the performance is there, but like, really? Like, if you could play Ski Free? I don't, I don't even think Ski Free leverages hardware acceleration. It's just, it's a, that's a, that's a game that just leverages like, uh, I was going to say GDI Plus. That's not even what they used at the time. That's just the... Uh, what would it have been? Not wind forms. I don't even know what they would have. <laughs> not at that time. I my knowledge of how things were implemented back then are not very, very good. Um, but yeah, like I think people are buying into the whole like it needs to get 120 plus frames a second and 4K on settings that even are getting silly for 4K. You've got shadow resolutions that are too high resolution. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Some tigers have a red eye and blue... Now this this makes me cry because I realized there's a red one somewhere. <coughs> oh, maybe I don't need a red one yet. Sick. That's it. That's the four crests. Okay, so now I come back here with a red gem later. Got it. Got it. Cool. But now I got the four crests. That's the part that I was like, oh, dude, I'm actually really glad that this game isn't, like, crazy obscure. You'll figure things out. Like, I, I mean, I knew to go back to the crow room. I think the puzzle would have made sense to me eventually. I, I was wondering why the other paintings had switches but didn't do anything, and then the one at the end did. Um, and I guess, yeah, if I, if I waited long enough in that room, um, I probably would have spotted that on my own. But, uh, but, like, the statue and, like, going, oh, yeah, I'm like, why did I push the statue? Why is it on the second floor? Must make sense there. Um, and yeah, same deal with uh, 
that is like I did remember something that looked for gems in its eyes, but just forgot the room where that was the case. I think the bit that kind of irritated me is that I came out of Tomb Raider 2. And Tomb Raider 2 is a wonderful game where it takes a lot of effort to work your way into a room to then figure out that that's a that's a blocker. <laughs> like that's a point where you need to then back off find the key and then do the same jumps to get back into that room i do wish that the the keys were kind of clear that you needed a key like going this way was wrong or something like that perhaps i am requesting more linearity out of the level design but um but uh yeah do i have any other thoughts about the 4090 um the dlss 3 seems a little uh unfortunately poor because if your game is running at too low a frame rate, um, same deal as uh, the DLSS for upscaling. If your game is running at too low a resolution, DLSS starts introducing too many fake properties that don't really exist and it looks jarring. But if you're running the game at like 1080p or 1440p and then you upscale it to 4K, it does way better at generating those intermediate details. The same thing with DLSS 3's temporal kind of stuff that it's doing, where it's putting in fake frames in the middle. It's really good when the fake frame is, um, or rather when the two frames are very close. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot of cases where they're not close. Um, now here's, here's the tough part. Do I put away all the herbs so I can hold all the crests? I think I've got to do that. But I know that there's a demon dog. So I'm going to go gutsy on the ammo. Because I know I want to get rid of the demon dog. Because the demon dog's going to ruin my day. Listen, I got a typewriter. So equip that. The demon dog wasn't liking the, pit, the shotgun anyways. And yeah, so now I am also close to that bit. Which is cool. It's cool that they've got a save here. Uh, so, yeah, so, unfortunately, yeah, DLS is 3, it's like, well, if you're already hitting 120 frames a second, and especially if you're using this at 4K, how many people really need more than that if you want to, like, use it for boosting your lower resolution 120 frames a second to 240, because you've got a monitor that supports that? Sure, actually, it's not too shabby for that. The latency is a little bit in the way, but... I think for some people, they might appreciate the smoothness when it works, when it works, because any static text on screen, like uh, I think an example I saw was uh, an F1, you've got the, the, the names of the drivers above them and the in-between frames, the text is so wrong, but it needs to be correct, like exact for the two frames that are there. So, okay, so the dog is gonna come at me, there he is. Yeah, way easier with a pistol. Oh, I was just one doggy. Okay. When the sun sets in the west and the moon rises in the east, stars will begin to appear in the sky and wind will blow toward the ground. Then the gate of new life. So the sun's in, on the left, the moon's on the east, the stars at the top, the wind's at the bottom. So, okay. Now the question is, how do you... Oh, this is just going to put them in for me. It's just going to put them in the right places for me. Sure. Okay. I'll accept it. <coughs> there we go. What lies beyond thine window? See, now I'm terrified because now I'm not looking through rooms I've been in. Uh... Push, push that out like one go, and then skadoodle. See if you can push that out from that side. There you go. What's up here? That's cool. Yeah. Crank that, soldier boy. Kind of want that. Don't need the Campbell soup though. Okay, here we go. Double doors. Double doors is a serious business. 
I've got no heal. Oh, look, healing. Well, let's be fancy. There is something in the corner. There is something in the corner there. Okay, then we combine the two. Yep, mix the two, you get the mixed herbs. And then let's do it again. Look at all these herbs that are just sitting here. Who put them here? John Herb. Uh... Yeah, no, the 40, 90, like, it's so much. I've got 4K 144Hz monitors, and the graphics card that I'm looking for is a 3080 Ti. I don't think, like, a, a 3090 might be, you know, comfy. Okay, well. Oh, no, I'm still okay. Um... Two dogs, but no. right here. I've got some blue ones as well for poison purposes. Oh boy. Because <laughs> now now I'm going to look at my map and it's like, yep. This whole extra area right here. I mean, I knew I'd, I'd find more areas. It's a map of garden. Well, I'm glad I got the map first. Those dogs are definitely howling, aren't they? Okay, it's not too complex. I don't think it goes up as well. A winch for the elevator. The elevator is down. Does a winch need a crank? No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Alright, let's see how many other dogs I can run past. Okay. We got spooky gates. Um, yeah, no, you, you, like, I think a 3080 Ti, at its best, I might be able to get, to get for 1,100. That's probably the price I'm looking at. $1,100 Australian is still a lot for a graphics card. I, tr I feel like I'm treating myself. And yet, these even more expensive graphics cards, I go, yeah, no, like, I don't need them. Particularly because, like, the stuff that I can do, uh, <coughs> like, uh, that aren't games, I can be patient. I can work with it. Usually I'm not running into VRAM limitations as well. Good thing I found the crank. That'd be kind of weird if you didn't find it. Ooh, is that full motion video? Ooh. Wow. That was a really hard puzzle. The water is running down the opposite side. <coughs> oh, I still got the crank. I guess I can turn it back on as well. Yep. Oh, no, you gotta get on the ladder, Jill. That is not on the ladder, but sure. There you go. Get out of there. Oh my gosh. No, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that game. Oh, we gotta do the lift going away. Oh, you don't, you don't drop snakes on me. Don't do it. <sighs> Dude, the worst part about snakes is, what do you shoot? Oh, hi there, doggy. Okay, if he doesn't hear you, he doesn't see you. Okay. Oh, okay, so I've got to stop the water, I guess. Oh, okay, this is going to be fun. Oh, boy, the camera moves back when I move back. <laughs> okay, 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 now we're fine. I am worried I'm gonna probably burn my pistol ammo on these dogs if I gotta use more of them. So this is the lift, right? The battery is pulled out. Oh, I need a battery to go up the other side. Okay. The problem, the stage is set. The problem is 
presented. I need to get the battery so that I can go up, turn the water, and then just go back the other way. Makes sense. More herbs, more dogs. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Why why check the ammo? Gotta gonna make sure it's still there. Uh this is a caution. There's herbs right here. Let's let's just use it. We've got the blue ones. I'm not too sure when I'm gonna need the blue ones. But we'll take them. We'll take them as they come. Alright, where am I on the map right now? As well. So, okay, so I crossed the water and then I went under... But there looks like there's gonna be a room underneath that. <coughs> but here I am walking away. So, I'm walking away. Hopefully there's no more dogs around the corner. Or snakes. Don't drop more snakes on me. Don't do it. Hmm. Smooth sailing. <laughs> all's, all seems well for the moment. Um. Oh, hi there, little statue. How you doing? Okay. I don't hear anything. We got a red door. More herbs. There's blue herbs. There's just a... That's just a bench. Okay. Right, let's check the first one on the right. Um, so, while we're at it as well, uh, NVIDIA cancelled, or as they refer to as unlaunched, the 4080 12 gigabyte. They had two 4080s supposed to come out next month, and they decided to cancel uh, the 4080 12 gig. Uh, the big, like, my biggest problem with the 4080 12 gig, I didn't mind it in terms of a, it's a, gonna be a graphics card that comes out, you know, and it'll, it'll be priced at a certain amount, and, like, sure, okay, I accept that, I, the name isn't too, like, it, it doesn't matter too much, but it is kind of annoying when there's two cards with the same name. They're both called 4080, they're both going to differ in performance, because we've seen from their own benchmarks, one is clearly more performant than the other. <coughs> we take the fade spray. Heck yeah. There's some straight healing. Is that more more shotgun ammo down there? Oh, that's explosive. This doesn't push, does it? Huh. Okay, open that boy up. Let's put the... Explosive in there. I got a lot of herbs, I'll tell you that. I'm, I'm picking up a good collection. And then we can typewrite as well. Oh my gosh, this is a very close angle. Ink ribbon. Um, but yeah, I think NVIDIA, I think there's leaks of the 4080s, both of them. Uh, the benchmarks come out. And the 4080 12 gig looked very disappointing it didn't look particularly great um it only looked like it was about 10 percent better than the um <laughs> i love this close up uh than the 3080 and the 10 gig 3080 as well while we're at it not even the 12 gig one which again two products same name but <coughs> we'll accept it a little bit more because it, it was a much later release it's not like a two models on the same day kind of release um but 10% more for something that is definitely more than 10% of the price, it's not looking too good, especially when the feature set of the 4,000 cards is limited to DLSS 3, which doesn't look like it's a selling point right now. Um, oh no, another bathroom. This bathtub is filled with muddy water. Will you unplug it? Yeah, I guess, sure. So I read the blog post by the crazy guy who tracked down the actors. Apparently the voice actors was given a script. That's it. They gave four to five takes each line. Sent back a tape with the head. Zero context about the script outside of action horror. Oh my gosh, it's key! The C room key. I was thinking it was like a car key. I'm gonna call it the croom key. 
Um, that makes a lot of sense if the voice actors had, like, zero context. <coughs> you, you will, like, when you get a script like that, um, unless it's presented to you in a really horrendous way, you'll at least know, like, what's a scene. You'll know characters speaking dialogue back and forth. Like, you don't just get, here's a line, here's another line, and you record them all in weird orders. Um, oh, hi there. Hi there. This isn't going well. I'm not blowing their heads off. I'm not blowing their heads off. Alright, try me, daddy. Alright, dogs for dogs for pistols, dudes with shotgun. Just I had to remind myself of that one. Will you take the red book? Oh my gosh. We're getting a menagerie of tools. And the desk is locked, but I've got the lockpick, so that's okay. Oh, some shoot gun ammo. What just- oh, I just <laughs> raid, that's what. <coughs> but, yeah, the, um, so I think they just- I can't see anything. I don't know. Um, you gonna look inside there, or are you just gonna say it's it's not unusual to have a thing? The script was written by them barely speak English team. The guy said he didn't dare to improvise fix because he had no idea what's happening. And the, well, I think the worst part as well is when you don't know that it becomes such a big sensation as well. Um, like, I guess Resident Evil was a bestseller at its time, wasn't it? Oh, spooky hole. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Got glory hold. Can't believe it. I'm not a big fan of plants. That's my one like creepy thing. <coughs> oh boy. What is beholding me around this around thine holes? Um Yeah, I guess also like not having uh, the script in good English. But I guess, like, yeah, if, if sometimes you just don't fix it, it won't move at all. It seems to be obstructed from the opposite side. Okay. And that one's locked, and the plate says 003. Okay. That's a bit spooky. And there's bees, there's bees. I hate the bees. Holy crap. Holy crap. The bees. Jeez, bro. Jeez. We really doing that? What's spookier than zombies and rabid dogs? Bees. Don't trust the bees. Whatever you do. It's locked. Oh, what does it say over here? There's a panel with number keys. Will you push the keys? Okay. Uh, is this like if you press it and it... Yeah, okay, you press and it flips the other side. I've done these puzzles a bajillion times before. I know how they work. Um... Uh... There you go. What? Oh. <laughs> A lot of games have that, just, that kind of keypad puzzle. Spyro 2 has one. That one's a fun one, because you can do it in four presses. Oh, I thought it was another B. Oh, something is written on the wall. One plus two equals three. What? What? Uh, three plus four equals seven. Two plus four equals six. Six plus seven equals 13. And 13 plus three equals 16. Well, okay, so the key thing that I look at that is that the first number uh, that gets added is the result of the previous one. What do the other numbers mean? 24473? Not 100% sure, but perhaps that will mean something. Can't carry any more items. Cool. <coughs> that looks important as well. What even is that? 
This is what I get for carrying two weapons. Oh, there's another. There's wow, they're all over the place. These are all. These are all different items. Okay. <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm not too sure what any of these are. But I guess I could technically do a, um, a mad dash. <coughs> Water equals one, red equals two, purple equals three, green equals four. Chris is unable to solve this puzzle. He'd be like, oh, math bad, punch boulders. Good. He is a good boulder puncher, I'll tell you that, though. Um, okay, so because I can't hold anything in my inventory, I think the best thing to stop and solve this puzzle, or at least to understand what's going on, stick some stuff in my inventory, is to just walk it. I don't, I don't have to trigger the bees. I can just walk back to the room with the save. Because it's, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, so it's just, just, uh... Oh, except there's the glory hole in the way, isn't there? It's locked. Plate says two. That's a bit weird. Pushing the gargoyle statue and just finding a bunch of herbs here. Okay. But yeah, I've got to deal with the glory hole. Each time. Can I prep myself? Can I, can I... Can I just run it? Nope. It didn't look like it tickled that much, but... All right, I'm gonna figure this out, man. I'm gonna figure out how to how to deck this thing in the face. What's the music that happens in this? Not this room, sorry. Well, I mean, the music's happening in this room. The music is manic. It's definitely like the the '90s was great at this. This very just surreal droning kind of kind of ominous tone. There's a lot of music that's like that. Um, you ever listen to um was like scott walker the drift it's like that's a great example of just like what is this bizarre tone that like everyone wanted to do of just like making you so on edge the entire time um it's such a oh my gosh so. and it's weird because like you could do red book audio um and even if you didn't want to do Red Book, you could at least do, like, fairly compressed, but still sounds fine music streams. <coughs> uh, just, just, like, you know, bits of content here. I've only got four, uh... Four ink ribbons, so let's, uh... Let's keep it, keep it together. Maybe I should read the book. Instead of just, like, ah, yes. Yeah, but can I check the book? Nothing important. Yeah, what, what's on the spine? What's on the back? What's on the inside? All the pages are blank. Okay, it is now a blank book. Perhaps it will let me save wherever I want. This probably won't, but... Um, okay, pop that in. In here. I've got to figure out how to deal with... The, um, the plant. Either that, or you walk around the plant. Hey, sure, that's my college notebook. I'm pretty sure my college notebook was the same deal. Just, just, that's my head represented. Okay, so, uh, orienting myself, uh, the, the leftmost part is the entrance. Which means that the only other door I haven't gone into is the double doors here. <coughs> it's possible these double doors circle around. And it's just kind of punishment for going the main way. I'm also going into this room without... What the heck? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me, game. 
Don't do this to me. Don't you dare chuck a giant spider at me. This is my zombie game. Ah, oh, jeez, bro. Oh, boy. Oh, he's making a mad dash. Oh, there's two of them. There's two of them. Oh, my gosh. You've got to be kidding. Okay, Pimple Wizard, help me. No. Sticks. Sticks. Yeah, uh, I clocked up 345, some kind of code. 345? What does that mean? I'm getting a bunch of numbers, man. A three ball. Oh. A six ball. Okay, the spiders gave up on that side of the room. Everything I want for them is a constant stake nine ball. Three, four, five. That's the three ball, the nine ball, or the six ball, and the nine ball. Okay. And I know that there was something on that table. <laughs> I'm nowhere near that table. Oh, this is a terrible angle to try and like run away from these guys with. There's a pretty good spider, I'll tell you that though. Oh, they shoot as well. At least they... They make a mad dash, and they've got a bad turning circle. Okay, I spotted this. I'm gonna need some more of the ink, I'll tell you that. But at the cost of spiders. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. Mad dash out the door. We're good. We're good. Oh my goodness. Good thing spiders don't know how to open doors. Especially when they're that big. Um, okay, so now we gotta deal with this thing. You just shoot in there? You can't really shoot in there. You just stand on it. You can't do anything when you're on it. But yeah, the moment I leave, I know he's gonna, like, hug me. Does that do anything to your health? Maybe that's just there for a jump. Like, it's like, oh, look at that, ooh. If it doesn't do anything to your health, I'm not too fast. I worry it does do a little bit, and that's going to kind of bite me in the butt if I cross, like, way too many times. But for right now, uh, it's not like, it's not looking like it's in the way. But what I have reached is all the th places I can go to right now. Plate says 003. There's a 002 door somewhere else. And we've got this room with all the vials of something. We've got math. When you take the empty bot, it's empty. I mean, the fact that there's like four of them kind of implies that there's probably more to do than just like taking them all, but. <coughs> You know, that's what we do. We do take them all. We need them all. Okay, so I've just I've just walked into a room with four empty bottles. But now what do I use the empty bottles? I could put water in the empty bottle. Okay, so now I've got the water. Now this thing was saying water was one. Water was one, red was two, purple three, green four. One plus two equals three. Three plus four equals seven. Two plus four equals six. Six plus seven equals thirteen. Thirteen plus three equals sixteen. This is th oh. So now I'm thinking. Okay. So if water was one, what it might have been asking is you then put in the effort to find a way to mix two, which was red, I think. Three was purple. Is purple mixing red and blue? Is that what they're wanting? You can't just use blue on its own. You gotta mix that. 
I hope there's enough herbs. I think that's what they're going for because like I, I read this and I go, okay, so if I take this water vial and I mix red in it, I get three. Then I mix green in it and, and that's the plus four. So that becomes seven. <coughs> so, okay. But also three can just be water plus red. So maybe I just stick with that. Maybe I just do water plus red twice. Um, so I'm not too sure what's going on there. There's some blue herbs around. I don't know. There'll be more clues for this puzzle. You don't have to solve it right now. Okay. It, yeah, because it doesn't quite seem like uh, it's enough. It doesn't seem like there's enough reds. Yep, there's more. There's more network drop frames. My sister is doing wonderful stuff in network. I I have not been moving anything, by the way. It's just, just that was just full on just network drop frames. Um. Yeah, but yeah. So the so the math seems to work out though. If I wanted to get to the very end, because then I'd get I'd have a seven. I'd make a two plus four. <clears throat> which would be the red plus the green, which I think I've got already. You'd put those two together, you get a 13, and then you do another water plus red, which would be how many? There'll be two greens and three reds and two water bottles would end up being 16. I think that's the math. But I don't have two reds on the ready. I've got no clue where the reds are chilling. So, I have taken all the water bottles. We've got a locked door here. The plate says three. <sighs> Do I just face the bees? I've got to grab this. Oh, wait, my inventory's full. Never mind. Because I just picked up all the files. Because I'm a dumbie. So, we'll just, we'll just do some mad dashes, okay? Oh, my gosh. Listen, it's a new area. I'm expecting to get, like, bamboozled. It's fine. It's expected. It's not like... This isn't a crazy long game either, is it? It's... Like, I mean, you're expected to play through it twice, and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get both playthroughs in one, um, Halloween session. Also, I don't know if people are gonna be crazy interested in seeing, um, sort of the same game twice. Like, yeah, the, the levels are... Or rather, the areas are taken in different angles, I, I imagine, because you've got different characters introducing you at the beginning, different um, keys available and stuff like that. But ultimately, uh, let's see, where's the, where did I put the, the saves? Um, ultimately, I mean, you're seeing kind of the same areas, so... I don't imagine it would be crazy different. I'm not saving now, because I, I, all I did was I went into the other room and picked up a bunch of vials. <coughs> Haven't done anything too, too, uh, important yet. Again, my health is, oh, my health is yellow. This thing does dip your health. So, the, the more we minimize going through that room, the better. Uh, at this rate, people would assume she likes moderately choked, uh, perhaps. Listen, she was nearly a sandwich earlier. I think everything's on the table. Okay, we're grabbing the stuff on the table and skedaddling. Because maybe the stuff on the table is the key. It's literally the key. The dormitory key. Oh, I should probably pick up the other key as well. Is there two things on this table or is it just that? Okay, it was just that. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's hilarious. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I've used the dormitory key. That was used just for that. That was just for that one door. That was amazing. Okay. I hope the other key that I put away I forgot to take out. I don't think I, I hope I don't need that like right now. Given that there's like 002 here, I assume it's just gonna be a tiny dorm room. Oh hi there. Uh 
hope you appreciate the extra shots, just to make sure. <coughs> there is a pipe in here, isn't there? I gotta be quick. Water is left. You tell me the only thing in here was pistol ammo? Cool, I guess. Cool. What else is in this room? Oh look, we got a we got a map. A dormitory sketch. Will you take it? Yeah, sure. Map of the dormitory. Okay, what's the map like? Um I'm in the room with the ladder, apparently. Uh also there is not many other rooms. Uh I guess the room with the two spiders is massive. Um so I guess it goes up the floor, doesn't it? Anything on the table? The desk is locked. We use the lockpick. Here we go. Yep. <coughs> Show me the money! That's just shotgun shells. I'll take it, because I do need more shotgun shells, but. Okay. What is this? Plan 42, report. Four days have passed since the incident, the accident, Rama, and the plan at point 42 is growing amazingly fast. It has been affected by the T virus differently than other plants have been and shows unique shape in addition to its size. Looking at the way it behaves, it is now difficult to determine what kind of planet it was originally. There are two ways in which Plant 42 gathers nutrition. The first one is through its root that reaches into the basement. Oh, that's fun. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and broke the water tank in the basement. Now the basement is filled with water. It is easily imaginable that some chemical elements were blended in the water and promotes the incredibly fast growth of Plant 42. Another part of Plant 42 from the basement grows through the duct and hangs down like so many bulbs from the ceiling of the first floor. Many vines come out of those bulbs and they are the second resource for its nutrition. Once sensing movement, Plant 42 shoots its vines around the prey and holds it. Then it starts sucking up blood using the suckers located at the back of its vine. It also has some intelligence. It blocks the door by twinning, twinning, twining? It's vines around it, especially when it captures prey or is sleeping. Several staff members have already fallen victim to this. Cool. Cool. I'm so glad we have a killer plant and you were all on board for writing this report on it. <coughs> how could this happen? How could you, how could you let this happen? Oh, that doesn't go up. It goes down. Oh no, it goes down. I wanted to get on the roof of this place. Okay, hopefully it's not too dark. It's a fun angle, I'll tell you that. Oh, it's in the dark, isn't it? It's gonna jump scare me at like any one of these bits. Like if I don't push this box, for example, it's gonna like pop out and snag me or something. Oh, how am I supposed to know where the ducks are at this angle? Oh. Yeah, I don't- I don't like you. I don't like it, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, this is the poopy water, isn't it? Is, is that poopy water? Yeah, maybe it helps if I didn't have the- box pushed up against the wall. Whoops. That one's on me. That one is entirely on me. Sorry, puzzle. Sorry, puzzle. You got me superstitious about plants coming out of the air ducts. I decided to try and cover the air ducts. If you don't want me to get superstitious with the air ducts, tell me after I've pushed the boxes so I know I gotta do box puzzles. <coughs> Can't believe it. Again, is it just gonna come out of that one? I don't know why that one's there. Who knows? I mean, it makes sense for... Oh, good thing this box reset. Cool. So if I push this box... E oh, that's, that's a confident enough that I could jump across, right? 
Right? Right? That... That's... You telling me you're not gonna run across that? I need. Do I really need box number three? Box number three is up against this wall. You really want me to do this? You really want me to push it all the way up here? Walk around here, push it up against this wall. Okay, so the plant doesn't come out of the vents, and I'm just superstitious. Why do they put these massive vents here? Who knows? Who knows? Uh... I got one last bit of tech news, and that's uh, the Intel Arc C uh, GPUs are out in Australia. You can get a uh, an A750 8 gig for 549 bucks, or an A770 16 gig, which is the fancy one, the really fancy one, uh, for 649, which isn't actually too much massive more. Um, they're not quite the best prices when you compare them to uh, a 3060 <coughs> or a 3060 Ti. Um, you could probably do a bit better or you know, even better, an AMD card if you want just the gaming performance. Uh, yeah. And obviously they got the driver issues, so I don't know, the price isn't quite great, but you know what, at least they're here. Oh boy, now I gotta wade through the water. Boy, I'm just hoping I just don't get chased by a giant plant while I'm going through the slow-mo water. The tank appears to have cracked. Wow. It would be a shame if something were to jump out at me. Oh my god! You've got to be kidding! What the heck? What the heck? He's, he's really trying, isn't he? Let's see, you got a door over there. I'm gonna do a lap. You got a door over here. I was not expecting... I was not expecting the shark. The, the zombie shark in this game. You know? They're really trying, aren't they? Okay, okay, so we got two doors on the far side. Okay, they're getting bottlenecks. They're getting bottlenecks. You know, there's so much water that you'd actually need to, like, put in some pretty big force in order to open this. Like, you know, usually. But I guess there's also water on the other side, so you're not really... This guy's been shoving the virus into people, dog, shark, snakes, birds, friggin' plants. Oh, speaking of plants. Just, just a plant right here. There's a root. Now, if I had, like, herbicide, that'd be great. That'd be cool. I don't know. There's a bag here. Nothing useful. This is clearly blocking the way of something. Okay. Psst. Loose bullet doesn't work. Oh, and while we're at it. See, okay, I have now run into a dead end. A functional dead end. Where, let's pull out the map. So, we got the... The Guardhouse 1F. And that's where I'm at. We got, um... So the door that goes up... Sorry, there's, there's, there's two doors on the right. There's the double doors that are locked because there's an object behind it. And then there's room 003, which looks like it exits out into the room that's got the object behind it. So, they're both solved by the pr same problem, sure. Uh, but there's not a room I've not gone into, and there's not a thing that I've not really picked up or seen that I don't know about. Basement 1, um, well, it's pretty simple. The two other rooms are closed, and they don't have keyholes. And there's a big plant with a bunch of killer sharks. So, we got this giant plant. I've got to figure out how to blow up the giant plant. We've got a bag here. There's nothing useful. Can I call 911? Can I ask Nintendo Power for some help? <coughs> Can 
Because now I'm going, hmm, if I didn't need to solve the puzzle now... Like... You know what I mean? Like... What is left down here? Because there's obviously, like, a closed door, there's nothing really going on around there. I didn't pick up anything useful, really. Picked up herbs. But I need red herbs. Use everything you picked up in this area. I didn't pick up anything down here, really. <coughs> Unless a shark drops something. Well, let me see if I can a mad dash without the shark coming up on me. Uh, like here, for example, it's locked, there's no keyhole, they don't make that, like, clear that I can go in it. Same thing with this door. This one's locked and the door says control room, but it's locked. Now, I would love to go in a control room, but when you got no, no keyhole, it's not quite clear. Also, a uh, shark, I just wanna... Just want to note that. I'm going to do one last lap around here. We've got the, the, the tank that is cracked. I assume that's just the shark tank. There's not really anything hiding in there that I can tell. But I can't see any other items to really grab out here. <coughs> it's just control room locked. Locked. No keyhole. Uh, obviously there's like a red panel somewhere on the right there, but, um, I do have the other key. The C room, the C room key. It's in the chest, all the way at the beginning. Oh, I knew, I knew I should have, I knew I should have pulled it. So now I'm going to wander all the way back and grab my C room key. That one's on me if we're keeping it in the box, but... Listen, I wish, I, I, uh, I do, I do wish I could meander around the inventory limits. I, I do wish that a key item, like a key, literally, like, I could always hold on to it, because it's a key. Why does a key take up the same place? This is the time. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it's called the C room key. How was I supposed to know C meant control, you know? Now I gotta get hugged by the plant again. I think at some point the plant would be like, eh, we're good. Alright, again, not a crazy amount of progress, so I'm not gonna burn a, a save on this one. Okay. Take the C room key. Do I take the shotgun while I'm at it? Yes, actually. Nope. Like, I, I know, I know I'm doing two weapons, but you know what? I don't trust anything in that other room. So we're going for it. <coughs> Here we go. Okay, back to the C room. Oh. How's the health doing? It's still fine. It, it, it slowly tickles you, but it doesn't... It doesn't take it. It doesn't take it all away. Uh, next room. And I guess we got more herbs in, in the next room on, so... If I do need more health, I'd know where I can grab a bunch. Isn't it weird that they were hiding a freaking, like, ladder down in their room? Like... How does that happen? Ah, oh, yes, I have the basement access. 
in my dorm room. And what do you have in your room? Oh, yeah, the nuclear power plant, of course. Well, my room's boring, it's just the car park. Okay, see room key. Do your wonders. So is that the other side of this room? We gotta we gotta make our way past the fish. Hi there, fish. How you doing? See you, fish. You have used the sea room key. Okay, normal hiding spots. Not one homemade porn tape was found. Perhaps. <laughs> uh, okay, so there goes the sea room key. Uh, wah, wah. danger, danger. Nothing special, okay. Hopefully nothing jumps out of me in this room, but... The only thing I can figure out is, is a lever. Sure. That was easy enough. Can I turn back on? Not at all, so that was definitely the right move. What does this do? There's a button. When you push it, maybe that opens the next room. Isn't that kind of great? You needed a key just to go into a room that literally just turned off stuff. Now I'm going to go out here and laugh at the fish. Or the fish are going to laugh at me because they're going to do something I'm not expecting. Oh. I'm hearing the noise. Do I dare investigate? Whoa! Oh no, okay, we're cool, we're cool. We're cool. We're flip flapping flannering fish. But the noise is not fun. I'm, I'm not a big fan of getting the noise when... Uh, I guess I expect it in that room, but... Oh boy, the radioactive room. What we got over here? Ho oh, ho, pistol! Heck yeah! I'm starting to get real comfy on my pistol ammo, I'll tell you that. Like, I'm not finding too many things to shoot at with it, but... You know, it's, it's there. They are all wet and useless. Like me. Everything is wet and useless, apparently. But we got more shotgun ammo, so that's that's good fun. I've, I've needed more of that. <coughs> Will you take the dormitory key? Ah, oh, okay. That makes sense. They're all very wet and useless. So, pretty much this whole area is just... ...to... ...get a key. Uh, is that another? Yeah, that's another box. I was like, that's a, that's a rectangle right there. Okay, so I've gotten a key. I've gotten a lot of ammo. There's certainly nothing left downstairs, like from the looks. That's just, it's just empty. But now I'm worried. You know? Like... What, what is going to try and kill me? Because clearly the fish, the spiders seem kind of spooky. The tangle web, the, 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 the creeper vine, a bit of a spook, sure. The fish, they come at you, but, you know, haven't seen their bark yet. And they're not coming from the air vents down here. We've yet to f <laughs> really understand. Maybe this game is just me. Perhaps, perhaps. Maybe it's just the tension. You ever played Amnesia? Of, um, not the first one. The Machine for Pigs. I hear there's actually no monster in that one. Like, you solve puzzles anticipating that there is going to be a monster that kills you, but never really does. Although, granted, the original Amnesia is actually a, a, a wussy game. Because the monster doesn't really do much. He moves you to the beginning of the map you're in. He doesn't even, like, kill you or send, take, make you lose progress. He's just dancing around. 
You've just got to sometimes avoid him. Or run him. Or just anything. But, like, he doesn't do much. <coughs> I always find that's a bit weird about, like, horror stuff. Is it like, well, the, the horror punishment is you got to do it again. You got to face him properly next time or something like that. Yeah, okay, so that makes sense, but... Man, lots of one-time keys in this one. The the mansion felt like it was much more of a puzzle. This was just like a, I'm going from one room to another. Um, probably because I found all the rooms pretty quick. Okay, who's hiding in the bathroom this time? We had no one in the first one. We had Zombie Joe in the second one. We had Zombie Joe in the third one. I keep forgetting. I, my brain keeps almost trying to do invert controls. For the, the shock, for the aiming. The flame rounds. Um, I'll, like I'll hold on to them, I guess, but. Oh, perhaps I used the flame rounds on um, the vine in the other room. I don't really know if you can use them, given that there's a limited set of them, but. Sounds like it could make sense. <coughs> Who else is chilling in this room? Man, the, the camera angle is okay. No one else is in it. Cool. I'm glad. I'm glad it took its time. One white book. Uh, sure, yeah. V Joel report. <coughs> oh my gosh, my voice is gonna die if I keep doing that. Uh, as I said in the last report, there were some common features found in all the cells of the plant infected by the tyrant virus. We've also found another interesting fact through some experiments. We found an element that destroys these plant cells rapidly in UMB number 16. Hey, look at that. I'm looking for a 16. One of the series of UMB chemicals that we used for that experiment. We named this UMB number 16 as V-Jolt. Now, calculation, it will take less than five seconds to destroy plant 42 if we put the V-Jolt directly on the root. Oh, okay, so never mind. We'll just put the V-Jolt on the root. You need to mix some of the UMB series chemicals in a specific order to create V-Jolt. The UMB series chemicals may generate a poisonous gas, which is harmful to the human body. Extreme caution should be taken when handling these chemicals. Following are the types of UMB series chemicals and their brief characteristics. Uh, so... Uh... I know about the red, the purple, and the green. Um, interesting that... Purple is NP003, but then we've also got yellow and white and blue simulating smell and 16 brown. That makes me go... Is any blue plant actually just 13 already? I've got it in my inventory so I can note it. Now a book is missing. Oh, if only I had that red book on me. <laughs> my god. The worst part is I know that's going to open the next door, isn't it? Oh wait, no, I could probably push this away. <coughs> Time to raid the desk yet again. Is that more save juice? It is more save juice. Cool, okay. I'm glad I'm a little more comfortable in my save juice. Yeah, actually, th this thing is not going to move unless I bring the book. Sick. Okay. Okay, so again, I've got the clues on the chemicals, but I don't know if, like, I'm about to pull a system shock and I just need, like, the very specific chemicals, or whether I need, like, stuff you can find anywhere, really. You know, like, you got your chemical cupboards, and it's just like, now find the phosphorus. And it's like, yeah, okay. Which one of these cupboards has the phosphorus in it? Oh, it's this one, it's this one. And then you put in your slot and you wait like 10 years for it to research. Okay, so... The fire rounds are just for niceness. The whole point of the stuff I'm looking for... Is because... I actually need the, the empty book. Empty power, empty blank book. And then... 
I'm just gonna use the mix edge because I'm on caution. Yeah. Okay, I've definitely found, done a lot of looking, so I'm gonna treat myself to a save. Again, not a lot of things actually do try and kill you in this game. Like, yeah, you got the spiders, but it's like... Once you go into the room with the spiders, which, by the way, uh, haven't yet uh, uncovered the um, mystery of the, the numbered balls in that room. We'll get there eventually. Uh, so, okay, I've got the blank book. Uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting because I don't know what to expect. I don't know what I'm going to anticipate on the other side of that that ruthlessly hideous door. The door is not hideous, but what what danger lies upon the other side? Ah, <laughs> we're getting there. I I do appreciate this sense of progress. Um. I've got one other thing. Oh, yeah, I've got one other thing that I want to rip on. I had Overwatch 2 in my notes because Overwatch 2 came out as a release uh, the day after my stream two weeks ago. So it's been sitting around for two weeks. Um, I'm not playing it because I need to put in a phone number. <coughs> and uh, I tweeted this one out, but I thought it was like a little bit oddly tone deaf of like Blizzard needs to, you know, taken a phone number in order for you to play this game and I understand why it's because oh it restricts people from making smurfs which it hasn't a lot of smurfs are rich enough to care to buy another phone number especially for the intermittent time that they will play the game or they just register it once because you only need the phone number once holy crap holy crap that is a plant and the door is locked that, ah, I just got slapped by plant. Okay, um, I'm just gonna run past you. I'm sorry, bro. Is there anything in this room? Is there anything in this room? I, is there actually anything in this room? I can run out of the room. Why am I able to go into this room with the plant? Well, since I had saved, let's... Do the suicide strat and see how many bullets it takes to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop, uh, freaking plant. Die! Oh, wrong direction. Does that look like he's taking damage or he's about to give me a hug slap? Oh. Um, how do I decipher that? How do I decipher that? Oh, he just comes back? He just comes back? Oh. 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 What the hell is this? Yeah, Mary! I... Jill! Mary! Listen, the plant's gonna catch fire. Jill's being held by the plant. Oh, bit of a slam there. Oh my god. You saved me. Yeah. That yeah. was close. Thanks, Barry. Don't mention it. What a monster. I can't believe... What the hell is this place anyway? Okay. I'm gonna stay in the soldiers area and take a look around. Though I'm sure there are still things in that other mansion as well. Anyway, let's start searching separately. Why, okay. yes. The safest thing to do. Split up. Okay, so why, why did we kill the plant? Unless I just solved the puzzle with gun. I did burn through a bit of shotgun ammo. Not all of it, but a fair bit. 
It was a boss. It was a big plant. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on there. Hold on. What do you want me to pick up here, game? The mansion key. Oh, okay. So these are now for the, the mystical rooms back in the mansion. That's why they're telling me about that. So, again, the mystery of... The mystery... Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I didn't see it. I didn't see it, so I'll, I'll give it that. It, it, better for it to tell me right now than for me to wander all the way around trying to figure out what's going on. But now, what's the... <clears throat> what's the... Plan? Oh, I guess I could check out this room as well. If the if the root is still in this room, then the puzzle still has to exist. Of the the puzzle with the that's this isn't the right room. <laughs> um, what room am I thinking of? Uh, what room am I thinking of? Which one was it? It wouldn't have been connected in this room. Where was it? Where was the... The room with the plant root? Because it's like, hold on. Yeah. Man, I can't recall where the room with the plant root was. Oh, it would have been downstairs. Do, do I even check downstairs or do I just like... I mean, given that I got this key, I think <coughs> the mystery will soon uncover itself because it does feel maybe a bit premature. Um, but I do wonder what is the solution to the puzzle, so. Oh. Oh. Wesker. Wesker. <laughs> Jill. So you're safe. That's what I was going to say. Where on earth have you been? You disappeared from the hall all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I have my reasons. Perhaps you guys have met them? It was all I could do to protect myself against those strange creatures. Is that right? Anyway, it's good to see you're safe. Jill, our first priority is to get out of here. Yes, you're right. Now, there are a lot of rooms in that mansion that we can't get into because they're locked up. I have been looking around for clues. Okay, I'll go to the other house and see if I can find any clues. Will you do that? I'm counting on you. Guys, you want to... No one's going to... It's. This feels like just like a... Oh, by the way, player, just... You know, that key? It's- oh my god, what the heck? I got jump scared by dead freaking, like, bees. I got to crush them anyways. <coughs> V-Jolt is optional for Jill. It saves her bullets, but that's it. It's mandatory for Chris. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I guess, was it mandatory for Chris at this point? Like, did Chris need to get the V-Jolt in order to take out the plant? That is curious. Um, I think my inventory is good, but I will do a save because I don't trust not doing that. So I'm going to make my way over to the other, back to the mansion. And uh, that, that should be a good um, call it for the stream. Um, there is, I do have one thing to note on the way back. And that is, um, I hope I can use the crank. So, how about, let's... Let's, let's get the crank back in the inventory. Because, yeah, what I'm hoping is that if I can activate the lift, then the crank will let me get back out. See, that? yeah, that were the blues. But, yeah, no reds um, that I haven't used up already. 
Also, I guess this game's on one disc. I, I think that isn't um, the sequel on two discs. Yes, the plants regenerate uh, indefinitely and only those the berries, flamethrower, or V-Jolt. Weird how I can shotgun it, though, because I was kind of under the impression that, like, like, I'd kind of need to use that. It felt like the, the writings were trying to go, oh, you know, the plant's invincible to everything. But here I am, I'm just using a bunch of shotgun, and it, uh, installed it, at least. <coughs> oh, we don't have elevated power at all, so. Gone. So that, this, this, uh, it's still there, okay. That means I gotta go to the, the snakes. Up I go, up I go. You know what, I am still glad that, like, it's not... I'm not struggling to figure this out. Yeah, there's the snakes. Yeah, at least if you run it, you're fine. There you go. But, eh, one day... Figure out the lift. I feel like you just gotta get back onto the other side anyways, but... Uh, as in... I gotta go through the snakes again, even if I figured out how to get the power back. Uh, there's more plants, more herbs, and now I'm back indoors. <coughs> it's definitely, I appreciate the scale because it's not too massive that it doesn't, you know, that it takes forever to get anywhere. But it's not, like, large, sorry, it's not too small that you feel like there's just not many rooms. It does feel like there's a proper size to this whole place, and... I guess the fact that the enemies do or do not respawn, given that I had to be in the other room, I feel like uh, this would be a great opportunity for everything to start respawning back on me. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's the... Oh! Am I about to get Mr. X'd? Holy crap, I'm about to get Mr. X'd. Oh my god, jeez. <laughs> it's, it's coming. Uh, am I about to brave the, um... Oh, I just decided to brave the freaking... Uh, dog room. Did he come back at you? Oh, there he is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I was like, I was like, when's he gonna show up again? Oh my gosh. Or is this, is this the thing now? Uh, doggy room. Oh, now, now it's spiders. Well, the good thing is that now it's a spider. I have the time to find this. I now have a hundred bullets. Is there another one on the ceiling? There, there he is. Oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. But now I've got a killer dude that will give me hugs and kills. Oh my gosh, I just... I'm, I'm actually getting, like, jumpy now. This is great. This is what I want. Just give me the terrifying thing. Now I know the layout of the place, but now i got to deal with that. So. Oh, this, every time I put it down, this game's getting good, I'll tell you that. So, uh, but... I shall call it there. Uh, that's some good progress. I fought a uh, weird snake, a weird plant, uh, visited a lot of new areas, and now I'm back right at the start where it all started. Is this where I ended it last time as well? I ended right in the main hall, so. Um, but yeah, no. Nah, uh, so if you enjoyed this, uh, you can join me next week, where hopefully I don't get laryngitis next time. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I would like to thank you so much for sticking around. I apologize for the coughing. It'll, <coughs> it'll hopefully get better. But yeah, no, if you if you really enjoyed this, you can follow me on my Pleroma, not my mass and all my Pleroma. Um, or you can follow me on Twitter, or you can go to YouTube if you missed bits or you hated that there were 1,024 frame drops on the Twitch uh, stream. Uh, the upload on YouTube will not have that, unless you are on YouTube, in which case, cool, you
you can then watch it on the Twitch, where I will be live at 8.30pm Australian Eastern uh, Daylight Time now, which is, I think, 9.30am UTC. You can figure that one out, uh, depending on your time zone where you are. Um, yeah, other than that, yep, yeah, I'll continue this on next week. We've, we've got Mr. X giving us all the fun things, so uh, make sure you stay safe, eat your greens, don't stay up too late, don't get laryngitis, and uh, don't buy a 3090 for 3,000 bucks, guys. Come on. I mean, I like it, but like, come on. <laughs>